The French government has said it is considering all options, including declaring a state of emergency after a third night of escalating violence and rioting in cities and towns across France. Hundreds of police were injured last night and more than 900 people arrested. Ministers asked for public transport across France tonight to be suspended and some major events have been cancelled as the government tries to stop scenes like this taking place for the fourth night running. The protest began in a Paris suburb on Tuesday when a police officer shot dead a 17-year-old boy of North African descent during a traffic stop in Nanterre. Footage of the shooting was posted online. The unrest quickly spread across France, fuelled by accusations of police racism and wider discrimination against minority communities. Around 45,000 police officers have now been deployed on the streets. From Paris, here's our Europe editor, Katja Adler. Paris, supposed to be the city of love, is exploding again into hateful confrontation. Riot police versus angry youths, many under the age of 18. There's talk the French government may be forced to call a state of emergency. In the meantime, France's president today urged parents to keep youngsters at home while he sent more police onto the streets. But those youngsters aren't listening. Last night, the violence spread to flashpoints across the country. Town halls, schools, public buildings seen to represent the state of France have all been targeted. There was looting too in central Paris. In the Mediterranean city of Marseille, the state library was attacked. The UK and the US have now issued travel advice for their citizens visiting France. Les choses sont beaucoup plus profondes. They're right to be cautious, independent journalist Shaheen told me. He grew up in the Paris suburbs documenting what he says is daily police aggression. He predicts the riots will only grow this weekend. Anger is at boiling point, he insists. With the country on a knife edge, French politics is at its most poisonous. Face à des hordes prises d'une rage destructrice. With opposition leaders here on the far right, but also on the far left, trying to score points. But in the suburb where Nahel, the 17-year-old French boy of Algerian-Moroccan descent, was shot this week by a French policeman, we found people sympathetic with the rioters. No one listens to people like us, like them otherwise. I'm against violence, but these youngsters want their voices heard. As dusk approaches, the feeling in this neighbourhood is getting increasingly tense. We were threatened just now on the streets and we tried to get into uh, this company that was targeted by rioters last night and they begged us to go outside the grates. They said they don't want to attract any more trouble with our presence. And as the streets of Paris continue to burn, it's also the reputation of France's President Emmanuel Macron that's being scorched both here at home and abroad. Earlier today, because of the violence, President Macron was forced to leave a summit of EU leaders discussing Europe's huge emergency, Russia's invasion of Ukraine, and France's ability to safely host international events like next year's Summer Olympics is being questioned. This Olympic swimming complex was targeted by rioters last night. Even the United Nations had a go today, calling on France to address what it called deep racism and discrimination in the security forces. There are 45,000 of those security forces being deployed across France tonight. The fear here is that the violence will only escalate, especially because tomorrow there's going to be the funeral held for that 17-year-old boy who was killed earlier this week by a policeman here in his suburb of Nanterre, which tonight really is extremely tense. We've been told here by people there have been messages in social media asking people to come from the suburbs and gather in the capital Paris tomorrow. The French government says its top priority is getting the situation under control, but both politically and here on the streets, it really feels very much on the back foot.